Coming up on Rugged Expeditions, the team is back at the 777 Ranch in Hondo, Texas, with our guitar shredding compadre, Ted Nugent. Last time you saw us, we were hunting big bucks to support Ted Nugent's Camp for Kids Foundation, an outdoor youth program geared to help kids lead a positive lifestyle, all the while learning what nature has to offer. That's what I'm talking about. And this trip today is no different. We're here to give back to the kids once again and maybe redeem ourselves from some equipment malfunctions or buck fever, whatever you want to call it. And who knows, maybe Monty and I will even have ourselves another jam session or two with the Motor City Madman himself. Get ready, it's time for electronic pulsations and backstraps for the barbecue, baby. Presented by the Peppy Family's Jonas Brothers Studios. Museum quality taxidermy since 1908. Stand by and let this atrocity take place. Alan, Alan. What? I thought we were blood brothers. What? How Caucasian can you get? Hey, what? what? I'm here to help. I will save you from this insane. Wait, 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 wait. That's my signature model of guitar. Signature? What signature? Yeah, that's my Barack Obama signature model guitar. Oh, the humanity. You no, no, not that one. That one. All right. This is like Hendrix at Monterey. S Smith, I'm fixing your acoustic guitar. You owe me. <laughs> I've cleansed your soul. I've redeemed your musical vision. Is this going to cure my Caucasian rhythm? Yes, it'll never happen again. You will be Watusi and up a storm from now on. You've been Nugentized. It's going to be okay. I feel real music in your future. <laughs> Maybe we'll have to switch to electric. What do you now think? you're talking. Maybe Loud electric. You want to go in and... Let's plug loud, in the electronics. Electric. Let's see what happens. Let's go plug something in. Yeah.
100%. You sound just like the guy. Sounds just like the guy. <laughs> Well, look who's along on this trip. It's none other than the lovely Miss Shelley. Woohoo! You know, she's been on a lot of different trips with me, whether it's fishing, bird hunting in Spain, whether we're maybe doing a wacky commercial. She's always there, always having fun, a blast to have along, and she's my good luck charm. We can come if you can want you, to Can you even see her? No. She's got full camo on. Oh, you saw the water bottle. That's what it was. You can get in the back, in the lap of luxury. Throw that right on you, or in between. All right, are you feeling lucky, Shelly? All right, let's go do this. When we hunted this field before, you might recall the setup. So Ted was in a tree stand with his Matthews bow, while I was in a ground blind with my rifle. As we got settled in, deer began to move right away and started to come in, and Ted drew back on a huge buck that unfortunately didn't realize he was supposed to die on camera for the Motor City Madman. That evening, when we went back to the same spot, we ran into a cull buck that Jeff ran had nicknamed McNasty, but we let him go because the buck that Ted had missed earlier returned to my side of the field and slipped into my crosshairs. Nice job, Jeff Rad. Jeff, Triple thanks seven a heaven. What a great, great buck. We're hoping tonight that we'll see McNasty once again and perhaps Ted might become one with his mystical flight of the arrow. Here's plugged. Did you see how his, pa his uh, paws, how his feet are all screwed up? It's, it's like they've grown out or there's something wrong with them. Sometimes you gotta take these genetics out, you know, and get these bad ones out of the herd. And especially with that disease kind of stuff, that's bad news. There he is. Oh yeah, look at his hooves. Yeah, isn't that weird how his wow. hooves are all goofed up? Look at how they're all grown out. Oh my gosh. That's so weird. Good one to get out of the system. Yeah, for sure. Let's see what his old horns look Isn't like. like a foot of Whoa, look at. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. He lost his horn. 
Oh my gosh. Where it's is right it? over there. You see it? Yeah. Hang on, let me get it. <laughs> Look at that free corn. That's crazy. So when he was running through the bushes, he must have whacked it, you know, when he kind of stumbled right. that one time. I don't think I've ever had that happen in all my deer hunting. Of course, I don't think I've hunted whitetails this late ever either. So that kind of explains it. So this is a little tax taxidermy job right here. They go like that. What oh do you think? my gosh, how cool is that though? Yeah, look how I weird he is, that. huh? Between his oddball horn, his freakazoid feet. I think we did this guy a favor and I'm sure Jeff will be happy that we got him out of the system here at Triple Seven. Sure. It's so great being in a place like this. Yeah. Thank you for coming, Jeff. Amazing. Yes. All so right. much fun. It was great. Okay, now the hard part. Last. Now we got to drag this thing out of here. Did that shot wake you up? Yeah, I was ready. Huh? I'm from Detroit. I'm used to that. Thought it was time for another cup of coffee. <laughs> Woohoo! Now we're talking. Oh boy, is that beautiful. Look That's up. a perfect, look at that, perfect buck. How about it? Look at that, I had a hard angle down on him. It was quartering away. Look at that. Oh, how pretty is that, huh? Yowza. Look at all this stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. It's beautiful. Season, he's not bad. He's just broken it. Yeah, yeah. Side, what a great buck. I hunt South Texas a lot and talking about target rich environment. It's unbelievable. Well, Alan, I'm glad you're here, man. Was this great or what? Thanks for your wonderful donation. She Car Safaris donates a lot of money to our Ted Nugent camp for kids and we're literally saving kids lives we get them off of drugs and gangs and alcohol and stupid lifestyles and the couch zombie and they discover the mystical flight of the arrow and aim small miss small marksmanship and they see how you can get high like Uncle Ted does on backstrap pursuits so this is a great hunt but to help out the camp for kids is why we're really here what a great program this isn't exactly a rugged expedition, but we'll take it when we can get it. You gotta love it. Oh my God, I hope. There might even be like some red wine or something to go with it. So we so we were coming down and we thought, you know, what do you give Ted Nugent? I mean, he's killed about everything on earth. Tagged. More, more stuff to kill. Played all kinds of music. So we have a little song that we did for you. We thought we'd like to play all it for right. you here tonight. So. Wow, I feel the romance. You wrote the song for me. The brothers, the brothers Grimm. That's they right. Yeah. 
If you are a liberal, you're heading down the street. The bother coming to Texas, we don't need no more dead beats. Don't come to Texas. You'll find out this state is red. And you'll find out the hard way You don't mess with Uncle Ted You can keep your Hillary Clinton Barack Obama too Leave them in the city They got handouts for you Don't come to Texas We got better things to do No better like, like hunting with our families Waving the red, white, and blue Here we go I'd keep your mouth shut Teddy taking crap from you left wing wackos you just got a place to put his shoe right up you we'll keep all our guns our hunting rights as well the motor city madmen's gonna give you lots of hell we got Ted Nugent All you got is CNN. It's not even fair. Not even fair. And you'll find out the hard way. You don't mess with Uncle Ted. One more time, I think. If you are a liberal and you're heading down the street, the bother coming to Texas. We don't need no more dead beats. Don't come to Texas. You'll find out this state is red. And you'll find out the hard way. You don't mess with Uncle Ted. Let me guess that song that just wrote itself. <laughs> One take. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well stated. You and I are gut pile and musical blood brothers. That's awesome. That's a good idea.